Big shout out to four years the Home Depot, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Televisions, man. Yo, let me let's just go back. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I usually post like, you know, weekly, and I've been a little slow, um, and that's just really, man. I've been sick, but I've been feeling better though, man. My girl been feeling better, so that's all that matters right now. And that I'm out here talking to you guys, and then I'm still pumping this out and y'all some dope, dope stuff, man. So. I'm excited to be in front of the camera, bro. If y'all been tuning in, y'all would notice like the other week, I almost quit for time. I had my images out of focus uh, when I was shooting. Um, I was just, I was just doing too much. I, I needed to take my time, bro. I just really needed to take my time. And if y'all interested in checking out that video too, it's up here, y'all got to check it out. It was really frustrating getting those results back and seeing all those blurry images, so and just things that it just didn't look how i desired to look so it really took me so i was like you know fuck this i'm finna go get some film after i got out my feelings but i was like i'm finna go get me some film so i bought like literally like six rolls of film went to the film store got that came back i shot i lined up three shoots that next week knocked them all out went by it was dope it was mad dope you can see even one of the shoots that I recently did, I had posted last week. You guys can check it out right here. One of my favorite shoots that I've done so far. I'm excited how these shoots came out, especially the shoot that I'm gonna be talking about specifically today. And this is actually one of the shoots that I messed up from uh, the other week. So you can, you'll even see like, this is the same model. And I was like, hey, yo, you know, we gotta redo this, you know, cause I'm a very transparent dude and be transparent with y'all clients or whatever model y'all work with, bro. Let them know what's going on, how your workflow is, because that just builds a better relationship. I told her straight, I was like, yo, you know, these images that come out right at center to it. She was like, you know, they ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? I can actually use some of these. And I was like, well, I'm gonna shoot you again. So are you free next week? We lined it up and we had took it to this tennis court that was in her neighborhood. And it was perfect because I saw this image. You guys can check out the move boat right here. It was real smooth about this. It was with this shorty who had on like this burgundy top and bottom um and she was on a tennis court and i like the vibe shorty had an afro but i knew uh she has some sort of hairstyle look that i've seen that kind of gives more so that old school that 90s feel if i'm not getting the fro i at least need something like with a nice little bang or something that's smooth so and that'll compliment her So I ended up going in my closet. I found this crew neck that I really liked. I got from Urban Outfitters. I ended up cropping it because I cop a lot of my shit. So I ended up cropping it and um, I was letting her use it, the modeling. So she was modeling in that and that kind of uh, put together the whole aesthetic vibe and made her look like she was a damn tennis player. She had a tennis rack and in tennis ball, so it was easy. I brought this out, man. I just got this new uh, mist filter too. I got a half stop on the mist filter this time because I used to use a quarter, but now I got a half stop, so which is dope. Um, so I could really get 
a nice uh, enhancement on those highlights to make it really get that glowy feel. So with the first shot, I was more so trying to set the scene and really get comfortable with the location. So I just kind of went with my intuition took me. So I was like, okay, let's just start you right here in the front. Then that, so I had her sit down. It was like these rays of light that was kind of sprinkling through the trees. So I got those rays of light sprinkling through the trees on her and then I'm gonna be getting her straight ahead on just kind of having the background as the netting. And I'm really big on like natural movement, right? I don't really like nothing that looks too staged or anything. I really like things that are pretty candid. So after this first shot, uh, we maneuver to the second shot, right? And this is actually one of my favorite shots. I've never, I always wanted to shoot through things. I'm a big fan of foreground, uh, even through cinematography. So within this whole thing, I was like, okay, let's get her going through the knitting. So. It wasn't a focus how much I wanted it to be, but it did deliver how I desired it. So it worked out pretty smooth. And then after this, I kind of got something more on like a profile. So I got her kind of like at a 90 degree. After that, I wanted to switch things up and kind of get a little bit tricky with it. So on this fourth shot, I want to go for like this tilt look. I just recently watched Spike Lee. A do the right thing and I've never seen the movie I saw like this crooked shot uh, that was pretty stylistic in the film I was like okay let's kind of play with that so I had got her centered and I kind of literally just turned my camera mind you it was mad easy because I had a prism finder it wasn't just a waist level prism finder so I made things real easy and I did do the shot twice though Number six and seven is one of my favorite shots. They both are at the same location, but I'm wanting to tighten the wild look. I really enjoyed the wild look. I was actually debating on putting that as my first initial folder when I published these on social media and et cetera. Uh, and I wish I got her feet more so too, um, to complete like the full look. I think that would have been tough. And then lastly, I had a couple more shots, but this is probably one of my favorites too that I wanted to leave you guys off with. So I had kind of put her in the middle of both uh, tennis courts. Center around this last shot, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to exactly capture. I was kind of running out of ideas because we kind of maximized tennis court and like as a whole, I think we did a good job. So after that, I was like, well, maybe I should just take some portraits because I love taking portraits. So I had her sit between both of the tennis courts and then I let her grab the tennis racket and kind of place it under her chin. After she placed it under her chin, I kind of had her tilt her head to the side and I snapped from there and I loved how those came out. And those was actually some of my favorite photos. Thank you guys for staying to the end of this video, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the family, man. I got many more new and innovative things coming y'all way. Make sure y'all leave a comment below. Let me know if y'all enjoying these series and also let me know if there's any other things y'all like to see me do. Without further ado, man, make sure y'all keep shooting. Peace.